Hey everyone, Sword here, and today it is the 156th episode of Weekly Vlogs. 156 weeks has gone by and I'm still going, I just messed that up, but one thing that hasn't messed up is that it's gonna be the three year anniversary right here, right now, today. And it's kind of fitting though. It's weird because I am pre-recording this before it hits Friday. Yeah, that's right, because I'm actually going out of town on Friday, so I'm pre-recording it. I'm going to have it uploaded on Friday. It's all going to be good and handy dandy, and we are done to go. So I'm just letting you guys know now, just in case if you were to message me and I was not able to respond to you, either here or on my gaming channel, it's because I'm going to be gone for those days. So, pretty much, let's go take it one step at a time. So, three years has gone by since I first started making vlogs. That is dedication, insanity, and determination, and as well as a fun hobby. Just, I keep up a weekly video as much as I can. You, I know I've been pretty much skipping a few days and as well as that I have not been always uploading on every Friday, but it's still fun. I still have a video up a week. I'm still going with it and it is fine. So, three years has gone by and nothing much has really, really been happening within those three years. All I know is that I've graduated, I've got a job, I'm still working on my gaming channel, and now I'm still working on my gaming channel. Just... Pretty much that's where I'm at right now and maybe I'll actually go back to school. I'm not too sure about that yet. Just hopefully my gaming channel will take off and if it does then I'll be very very happy. Then I probably won't have to go back to school but as a backup plan I probably will take a few classes here and there per semester. So at least I can get my degree and as well as still maintain my hobby and if I'm successful on my gaming channel then I could actually quit my job at the fast food restaurant that I work at so I could actually maintain focus for my videos and as well as for my classes, so it'll be good. I don't have to split my focus into between three or four, actually, because the fourth thing is about my life. So I got to focus on my life as well, duh. But I'm just really energetic because I had two cans of soda prior to this video recording. So yeah, mind me if I actually start jumping all over the place and actually start talking too fast than I usually do, or that I just can't maintain a proper thought. So, jury duty. It's finally over. And I did a surprise pizza party for my my peers and jury. <laughs> jury of your peers, get it? I don't know. So pretty much, I actually did a pizza party for all of my jury members. So I was happy about that because I actually wanted to do a pizza party. I told my friends, we should have a pizza party. It's like, ah, oh, that's pretty cool. Maybe we could actually do that. But I didn't think that they would actually act upon that. So I pretty much took it upon myself to do a surprise pizza party. Just... I actually called Little Caesars late night, asking them what time they open. They said that they actually opened at 10. And I asked them, is it possible to actually place an order right now for 8.30? Because it starts at 9 and I want to get the pizzas by 8.30. And they pretty much asked their manager, they asked the higher up. It's like, oh yeah, we could do that, we could do that. So I ordered five pizzas. So it was a good deal for them too, because they were able to make $30 before the store even opened. So it's a good deal. Profit. And as well as that, they actually burnt three of the pizzas. They didn't give me the burnt pizzas, of course, but apparently one of the ovens is not actually working well. So they actually accidentally burnt three of my pizzas. So they actually made me fr like five fresh new pizzas. So it was kind of a good deal for both of us because they were able to make profit and they realized now that their oven is not working as it should be. So it was better that they knew about it then than or now technically and time whatever it, it was better that they knew about it now than they would have to find out later on because what if they actually created six pizzas at once and they all got burnt right then and there then they're gonna have to wait even longer to cook more pizzas so now they realize how long they could actually cook the pizzas for without over or overcooking it or burning it it's good for them too so with my phone call and my order placement they were able to find out about their oven and as well as that now they could actually cook the pizzas properly so that they can make all the customers happy so it's all good here the thing was is that I would assume that they probably would have not taken my order if I only ordered one pizza just for one customer for one pizza at 8 30 in the morning to like an hour and a half before the store opened I honestly think that they would have not actually taken the order but I ordered five pizzas right then and there and there's like okay we'll do that for you so if you're going to actually order ahead of time and actually order something before the store opens, make sure you're actually ordering a big order type of deal. Otherwise, then they're probably not going to actually do it for you. I'm not too sure. I cannot speak for all the restaurants out there 
and all the restaurants cannot vouch for that but in the mindset kind of common sense not many restaurants would actually do a smaller order for that early of time that's just my opinion okay now on to jury duty all the people were happy i even given a i even given the fact that i actually ordered five pizzas four boxes were for the jury members and anyone who else stopped by and then one of the pizza boxes was actually for the security guards and the people who work at the help desk so they got pizzas too and they were happy about that as well i just wanted to make it a great last day for us because i won't have to be there for another two years so i'm happy about that Whew, off my list <laughs> and i really don't want to go back to jury duty well, I kind of do at one point, but it's like when I actually have time to do everything else. It's just it was a major inconvenience for me at this given time because I would have to work all the way till 11 p.m. And then I would have to wake up at 7.30 a.m. And I don't get to bed until around 1 or 2 a.m. It was just really of a miss. It was just really a just what's it called? What was that word called? <sighs> I just said it earlier. Now I just can't remember what that word was called. Inconvenience. There you go. Inconvenience. It was just a major inconvenience. But I learned more about my town and I learned about the cases. So if I actually want to press charges, I could actually press charges correctly under the statutes of what it, what has gone on. So let's move on from here. So Friday, excuse me. Friday is that I'm going to be going to another state or no, sorry. Whoops. Pfft another city i'm gonna to go to another city to actually go to my friend's graduation dinner because he's gonna graduate he's gonna get his bachelor's degree in science and he's gonna have well pretty much the, the college or university actually pays for the dinner for the invited guests so pretty much we're the invited guests and we're gonna get a free dinner so it's all gonna be good for us and we'll get to actually or i will get actually i will actually be able to get out of the town for quite a while because i don't even remember the last time i actually got out of town I would think it was like about five months ago since I've actually left town to another city. So it's been a while. And hopefully I'll be able to actually meet some of my friends over at Tucson. And if so, that'd be great. I'll be able to make a video. And as well as that, we'll be able to hang out. And then we're going to go to Phoenix to stop by with relatives over there. And then we're going to come back home. So Friday and Saturday, I'm not going to be here. But I'm still going to have videos uploaded or scheduled to be uploaded on Friday and Saturday. So it'll be good and set to go. So that is pretty much all there is to say. Jury duty is finally over. I can finally sleep in on Tuesdays. And if they still give me Tuesdays days off, then I'll be happy about that because I'll be able to actually rest up and actually maintain some of the videos. And hopefully I'll ask my friend if he actually has days off on Tuesdays to come over one of these days or some days and we'll start making videos together. I really hope to actually do co-op commentaries again because they're so fun to do. Especially when I'm not talking about myself or I'm not talking about what's going on by myself. I'm talking about or having a conversation with my friend right here right now and we're both having fun with it, making jokes about the game, everything along the matters of that. And also because I'm usually the clean one and my friends are usually the ones that actually make the dirty jokes in there and I actually go along with it because I keep my gaming or yeah I keep my gaming channel clean as possible at least when I do solo commentaries but when my friends go in there it's pretty much all or nothing so yeah that that's that's the deal my friends provide provide the comedic relief that I can't just I, I just it's just how it is so that is all for today thank you guys for watching have a great day everyone and as always i will see you in the next video if there's a question of the day is that are you guys graduating soon i don't remember when graduation is but are you guys graduating soon and if you've already graduated what year are you going into now just after after the summer break what grade are you going to go into now so that is it have a great day i'm sort of kids and as always i will see you in the next video